tonight is an, an amazing night. This is a night that will, I'm sure, will never ever happen again with the assembly of all of these wonderful Cleveland musicians, talented musicians who have recorded. They've got music on the radio. They've charted, and we they're going to continue to do things uh, as well as myself. Uh, tonight is beautiful. We have a lot of Cleveland artists in one spot on one night at the same time, which is rare. Everybody's always working, so this is truly, truly a blessing to have everybody in one space, and it's for a good cause, and uh, it's lovely. You are watching SGTV, socially good television. Great night, fantastic collection of musicians in Cleveland, legendary musicians, for the first time all assembled in one place for a great cause and bring some jazz back to Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, Mark Ribbons and the crew supported all of us. When I first recorded a song, which was written and produced by Michael J. Calhoun of the Dance Band, I was at the hair store getting some items and I got in my car and I turned on the radio and I'm listening to the song. I'm like, oh, this is a nice song. It has a nice feel to it. And I'm listening. I'm like, oh, that's me. I'm on the radio. I heard myself for the first time on the radio airwaves and I owe it all to the wave team. It made all the difference to a girl like myself from the inner city of Cleveland. My greatest wave memory was when they played my first single from my last album, Something to Remember, on the radio. It was a very monumental time. I was in New York doing a show for the release of the album, and that same day, it premiered on the wave. So it was just like, it was just life changing. They gave us a, a platform to showcase our talent, our music, and by doing that, by them being a reporting station, we became legitimate contenders in the music game because of that station. I think that they had such an impact that you see that they were sorely missed when they came off the air. That I would be playing with Forecast five years ago, I would have called you crazy. So it was a group that I used to sneak into a club to go see when I was a kid. So uh, yeah, this is just a beautiful thing. Incredible amount of talent that Cleveland has musically. It's it's always been one of the most incredible cities in America as far as musical talents. And the music that came historically from this city is just amazing and it shows tonight. station 
that was in Cleveland was really, really within the community. And just by the fact that they played local artists, that would never happen anywhere else. So to me, that, that marriage between the community and the radio stations and the, and the local talent and the international talents from Cleveland, to me, is, is just one of a kind that has never been duplicated anywhere else. If you miss this concert, you miss the one in a lifetime event. You have 15 top notch acts that played, and plus, we honored this guy right here, no, no, my no. brother from another mother, Mr. Dan Dealey. We honored Grace Roberts, Carmen Kennedy, and Mark Ribbons. It's just beautiful to say thank you and job well done. It was just a pleasure. And if you weren't here, you missed the, not a good one, the best one. It was a great night. Uh, my goal was just to reach and t touch the radio personnel, tell them thank you from the bottom of all of our hearts. This radio personality, personnel, led by Mr. Mark Ribbons, really uh, made sure the artists of Cleveland and, and greater you know, North uh, uh, Ohio got hurt. I've been in broadcasting a long time, man, but I've never felt love like I feel tonight. And I feel, I feel sorry for anybody who wasn't here because you missed out on a sensational evening, right? It I mean, really it just, was. It was amazing. It really was, you know, and like you said, you could feel the love and the support from Cleveland and all that so many, like what Mark has done and so many artists, you know, so they just wanted to say thank you. And it was a blessing. We had a wonderful time, great music. Tonight was an amazing evening. It was wonderful to see my friends again, who I have worked with for the past eight years with you, 20 years yeah. with you. Yeah. Grace and I started at the same time at 107.3 The Wave when it was in Illyria. I'm and the new guy. He's the newbie. But, <laughs> but it was an amazing night, and I want to thank everybody who came out tonight to uh, share the love, especially Alex Bunyon and Rob Hubbard for putting all this together. We always wanted to be connected. We always wanted to be like your friend on the radio. So if you're driving in the car, it's like having somebody with you. If you're sitting there doing your homework and trying to go to sleep at night, having a voice that you recognize and you're comfortable with talking with you. And so it was more than just that was so-and-so and this is so-and-so coming up. It's like, here's the weather today. How are you feeling about this? You know, uh, One of the things that we did in the community was, uh, that I'll never forget, when the Tamir Rice verdict came down with the officers a few years ago, it was a situation that was such a touchy, feely thing. We were generally not in full time on Saturday, but Grace and myself went to the studio because we said, you know what, this is important for us to be there, to give the public the news and to open the phones and let people talk about how they felt. That's the kind of family atmosphere. We're, we're more than just people who play music. We're, we're family. watching SGTV, Socially Good Television. Visit sociallygoodtv.com and remember to share this video.